Welcome to the latest of our videos about the bikes we use in our product review videos. This time it's the Suzuki V-Strom 650 XT. We've used this bike to evaluate and review a big old heap of touring and adventure kit over the last few weeks and it's been absolutely ideal for that job. I've spent quite a bit of time on V-Strom 650s over the last 17 years or so since the first one was released and if your pulse isn't racing at the mere sight of this bike then you're almost certainly in the majority of motorcyclists. Admittedly, it's the sort of bike that inspires respect rather than intense excitement. But my take on it is this. You're looking at one of biking's humble heroes. This is a bike for those people who rely on one more so than those who only get on board when they feel in the mood. Get on this bike, get going, and I'll lay odds that your brain will need a rest long before the V-Strom asks for one. This thing will easily hit 60 miles per gallon, which means the 20 litres of fuel in its belly will carry you well past the 200 mile mark. If you hate stopping for petrol as much as me and don't want to give the fuel folks any more than you absolutely have to, yep, yeah, that's me again, then you should be looking at one of these bikes with interest. The engine is the venerable V-Twin with roots that extend all the way back to the 1990s when it was developed for the SV650. Its 70 horsepower or so is enough to float past all but the most determined traffic and it'll even carry a pillion with a decent degree of comfort. The screen gives good shelter, the riding position is comfy, though it's not the tallest adventure bike and the long-legged might want a bit more room to stretch out. This is the XT model, so you get wire spokes rather than cast wheels and a little more of a nod to off-road capability. Suzuki described this as the all-rounder and it's their adventure bike, but the dirt capability in reality is only very light. When it comes to trails, the Strom's not in the same league, for example, as the Yamaha Tenere 700 that I rode last year. I'm not much of an off-roader, I'll admit, but I know a dirt bike when I get on one, and this is much better suited to the road. That's its real home turf, taking you a long way without putting undue strain on either you or your wallet. It's not perfect. Suzuki's reputation for slick gear shifts has fallen down here, where once you could caress a Suzuki into the next gear, sometimes it feels like this one needs a kung fu kick to engage the next cog. But the Strom's never been perfect anyway. It may not give us everything we want, but I'd say it gives us everything we need. Even though new bike prices, unfortunately, aren't what they used to be, at 8,300 quid new, the V-Strom gives pretty good value for money. And if you're happy to dive into the used market, a Strom can be really good value. Even at dealer prices, you can get a 2017 on model like this one, with less than 10,000 miles on the clock for five grand. That does mean foregoing the wire wheels for cast ones, but the benefit of the spoked wheels is pretty slim anyway, and the cast ones are a lot easier to keep clean, I can tell you that. So that's the V-Strom 650 XT. The next bike up on our schedule, it's the new 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa. From 70 horsepower or so to 190 odd. How's that for going from one extreme to the other? 